This video will describe different sources of information and how to recognize them. Understanding the type of source you are looking at will help you know how that source can best be used in your research. We are going to consider three questions that will help you distinguish between different types of sources. First, who is the intended audience? In other words, who did the author or creator produce this information for? Is it intended for a general audience who doesn't need to know anything about the topic in order to understand the information? Or does it use more specialized vocabulary and discuss ideas that are aimed at people who already have knowledge of the subject? Some sources may be written at a very complex level and are intended for an academic audience or people who have substantial knowledge and experience with the topic. Identifying the intended audience helps you determine if you might need additional background information to comprehend the advanced or complex issues covered by the source, or if it is a source anyone can understand and learn from pretty easily. Second, what type of information does the source provide? Is it giving you basic definitions and explanations or strictly factual information? Does the source provide an analysis of an idea or have a thesis that the author supports with evidence? Is the author presenting their research findings or data from a study or experiment? Or does the source offer an opinion on a topic, possibly supported with evidence, but clearly intended to persuade the audience to think a certain way? Answering these questions can help you determine if a source is meant to be informative, persuasive, entertaining, or scholarly, which will affect if and how you use it in your research. Finally, what is the purpose of the source? Why did the author or publisher put the information out there? The purpose is directly related to the audience and the type of information. Is the source intended to educate on facts and basic knowledge? Is the goal of the source to present the reader with multiple perspectives on an issue? Is the author's primary purpose to persuade or influence the audience? Is the information being used to sell a product or even an idea? Is it trying to elicit an emotional reaction from the reader? Or is it a formal article communicating the methods and results of a research study? Based on the answers to these three questions, we can distinguish between sources that are considered general and those that are considered academic. 